This is a quick video explaining how to play Multiplication War. So what you'll want to start by doing is shuffling your cards, and then you'll want to split your deck into two equal piles so that each player starts with the same amount of cards. So to do that, I usually just lay them down and hold them down until it's about the same. There, they're equal. So we're gonna have to pretend I'm playing with a partner here. So what you do is you will take your top two cards and flip them over. So, in this case, I have a six and a one, so that I'm gonna multiply them. Six multiplied by one is six. My partner, however, has a king, and we call all the face cards a 10. So 10 times five, 10 times five is 50. So my opponent has the greater product, so they get to take all the cards and then place them at the bottom of the pile. And then we go again. So I have a jack and a two, so a 10 times two. Oh, take out the jokers, we don't want them. Uh, so they have a 10 times seven. So they have 70, I have 20. Again, they have a higher product, so they get the cards. And usually I just stick the winnings at the bottom of the pile so they don't get confused. So again, jack and a three, that's 30. My opponent has a 10 times 10, which is 100. They have significantly better cards. So bottom of the pile. If both players end up with the same product, so let's just pretend, we both end up with 20 somehow. So let's pretend we both have 20. Then you just lay down two more cards and the higher product the second time uh, wins them all. So my opponent got 80, I only had 10. They get all eight of those cards to add to their pile. And so that is how you play Multiplication War. The game is done when one player has all of the cards in their hand. And it's a really good way to help you practice your basic facts up to 10 times 10.